Hi, I'm Lisa. And I'm Kent. And we're living late RV. <laughs> we're grabbing life by the tail. Okay, so we're going to take you along on our weekend. We hung out in Sundry with my mom and dad, drove the cowboy trail, looked at a motorhome, a motorhome, yeah. not a truck and trailer, so that'll be interesting. So come join us as we hang out this afternoon. On Saturday morning, it was the most hilarious thing. So I'm sound asleep, and all of a sudden I hear Kent like freaking out. He's like getting dressed really fast. I'm like, what's going on? And he goes, I think someone's breaking into the neighbor's trailer. So our next door neighbor just bought a vintage, uh, small little vintage trailer about oh, two weeks ago, three weeks ago. Yes. And Kent could hear some noise back there. So I grabbed my phone, of course, because I'm a YouTuber now. So I start filming out the back window, and Kent goes in the backyard. And just before he leaves the house, I said to him, I think it's the neighbor back there. I don't think yeah. it's being broken into. So he was a little less cautious, like a little less nervous, I guess. That's maybe. right. Anyway, so he's still cautious. Went out there and uh, knocked on the door, saw the neighbor out there. And the neighbor was literally ripping out the ceiling. The inside liner. Yeah. Yeah. So he's ripping it out. Ken's going, uh, so what's going on? And he said, yeah, I just bought this trailer and the lady who I bought it from forgot to tell me that it has a huge leak in the roof and we've had a lot of rain in the last day or two and so his trailer was leaking. He said, awesome, now I have a project. I wasn't planning on having a project, I was planning on just having a trailer to go camping in. And then he said, buyer beware. Buyer beware. And yeah. I'm just like, hey, I figured we've got a video you should watch about buyer beware. That's right. Anyway, we'll link that up here. No, here. I can never remember which side it is. Is it this side? We went and looked in Red Deer at a 1993 Monterey by Cobra. It has a 454 Chevy engine uh, with an overdrive transmission and it is in excellent shape. It has 65,000 kilometers, so it's still new. Basically brand new, totally. Uh, the generator, it has 120 hours on it uh, and it runs great. It's a 4,000 watt generator and the Fridge works, the stove works, the uh, all of the bones of it are, are in excellent shape. Uh, everything is 1993 vintage. I have a certain color scheme that I want to renovate the, the motorhome. <laughs> See, this is the weird thing. We've always been thinking, oh, we'll get a trailer, we'll get a trailer. And now all of a sudden we're looking at a class A motorhome and we're thinking, whoa, this could happen. This could work for us. Because really with the kilometers on that motorhome versus a truck, yeah. We couldn't even really find a truck with that low kilometers in the price range that we're, that we're working with. So, so this is this yeah. is young for, yeah. for the engine transmission. Yeah. Uh, windshield looks good, tires are all new, uh, brakes have been redone. Uh, everything works. Yeah, the looks roof great. looks great. Oh, the roof is beautiful. Uh, lots of room for solar. Yes. So that's great. All right, so we did take it for a test drive. That was so fun, I loved it. I used to drive a school bus yeah. and I missed driving a big vehicle. So, and Al, the guy who we're gonna hopefully buy it from, uh, he goes, you wanna take it for a drive? And, and I, I said, sure, yeah, Lisa, will, Lisa will drive it out. <laughs> and Al looks at Lisa and goes, well, okay. No, he was like, can you drive this thing? 
<laughs> it was pretty cute. Yeah. And I said, yeah, I've, I've had my class two license and I used to drive school bus. So that was really fun to drive that. And I don't have my class two, but I did drive uh, commercially a uh, probably a five ton uh, truck. Yeah. Uh, so I've been in the city driving and backing up and driving that through all kinds of weather. Uh, Dooley's at the back. So I, I'm familiar with driving something that's a little bigger. I've taken my Smith training. So that was excellent. We uh, drove out on the, on the road uh, on the main, uh, main way and going about 80, 90 kilometers an hour, meeting traffic and then driving into the uh, neighborhood. Uh, Lisa and I both got a chance to drive it. Uh, brakes look good, feel good. Uh, the uh, uh, power there is excellent and the uh, fuel economy is really good too. We don't know anything about a motorhome. We've, like I said, been looking for a truck and trailer. So all of a sudden this whole new uh, research thing has opened up and we're kind of going, all right, yeah. I guess we should figure this out. So if we get a motorhome, what are the cons? Like just for having well, a motorhome? This, this particular motorhome is really low to the ground. So it's like one step up and then you're in. So my concern is if we want to do some boondocking, are we going to be have enough clearance to get out into those boondocking areas? Well, boondocking in Walmart would work. <laughs> I want to do a little more exciting than just Walmart. Really? You want to I wake do. up with a, a, a ravine beside you uh, or something? Yeah. A, a deer gorge? and mountains Excellent. and trees. Okay. So we'll see if we can uh, scrape it all together and get this uh, motorhome bought because it's a go for us. I think uh, it's a go, yeah. We just uh, have to make sure that the uh, uh, financial uh, obligation of making that happen is, is ready to go. Yeah. So we're about a day or two away from that. Hopefully in the next video we can say bought one. Oh, that would be so fun. Oh, I hope my it goodness. Happens. Lots right. of rentals to do then. Exactly. So we uh, carried on on our journeys uh, that day and we went to the Cowboy Trail. Cowboy Trail is uh, Highway 22 and it runs all the way from southern Alberta right down from the border at Cardston all the way up uh, between the uh, the Rockies and the Prairies. Yeah. Uh, it, it runs in, in forest and, and in foothill areas all the way up to uh, central Alberta which is uh, um, Mayerthorpe. Mayerthorpe, yeah. yeah. Alberta uh, and it is an excellent secondary highway uh, it is excellent for RVs uh, it, some people don't think it's a slower uh, highway but it actually is slower in what way well there's a lot of people that want to pass uh, because oh, there's a lot of cowboys yeah, that drive up and down yeah, you'll see yeah. a lot of active uh, ranches on all sides of the uh, cowboy trail all the way from the, the bottom to the top so it's very active you'll see uh, farming implements uh, using the highway uh, to get from point A to B. Uh, the Bayou Ranch is on that. Uh, there's a lot of small towns uh, that have uh, just from the 1880s uh, all the way to today uh, just been part of that route. Uh, it's just beautiful. Uh, it's a it's, beautiful drive. There's horse, yeah. herds of horses, herds of cattle. Quite often, almost always, you'll see deer on the sides and some elk. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes I've yeah. seen elk out there. Lots of different birds. Lots of little pullouts to stop and enjoy the scenery. It's a beautiful drive, and so it takes a while. How long would it take to drive? Oh, it's that? actually a 500, and I'm gonna get this into American. Uh, 500 miles yeah. of uh, of traveling. Yeah. There you go. That's my Americanness there. That's your. That's there your, you go. It's your Canadian trying to be American. That's right. So, so that would 500 be miles 672 of, kilometers. <laughs> that's right. So it actually made better conversion numbers saying 500 miles. Yeah. Uh, so that is a wonderful stretch. If you have the time and if you're living the RV lifestyle and you want to just take the time and uh, enjoy the, the journey, mm -hmm. the getting there, mm -hmm. uh, the Cowboy Trail is a, a way to go. So, and yeah. almost everywhere along the Cowboy Trail, if you head west, you're into the Rocky Mountains. Yeah. Yeah, head so. west to the Rockies and east to the prairies. And That's you're good right. To go. Yeah. That's right. So we actually went and looked at that motorhome with my mom and dad, and they live full time in their trailer, and they are currently living in Sundry. Sundry is uh, uh, west of Olds, Alberta, and it is south of uh, Rocky Mountain House. Yeah, yeah. So it's kind of like I'm almost maybe halfway between. On if you're going to do the Cowboy Trail all the way from south to north, it would be about halfway. I think it probably. Yeah, is. Yeah, I think that would feel about. Oh, right. I think so. so. Yeah. So then after that, we hung out in uh, Sundry for a bit with mom and dad, stayed overnight, had our, another van camping night in the back of our van, and uh, then headed home on Sunday. But the uh, in Sundry, it is a beautiful little town. It's yeah. really small. Um, you can go for a nice little walk along the river, go into town, go to Tim Hortons for coffee. And uh, yeah, that's what we did with mom and dad. It was really nice. There, there was a weir there that kind of, yeah. like, because the creek can get pretty full, I think, and then the weir just kind of controls it all. They can um, divert the, the water so it doesn't flood the farmland areas. 
and yeah that was a really enjoyable walk that we did with mom and dad so the campground that mom and dad are staying at is called rustlers rv park and it's a really cute little park i don't know how many sites they have but we can kind of put that in the comment below there they have showers they have fire pits they have picnic tables at each site there is laundry there um i'm not sure if they have wi-fi or not i guess i should probably find out I think, lots of trees I think they do the nice thing about sundry rv or rustlers rv park is you feel like you're camping in the forest because the trees are all right there yeah uh, it's a gorgeous place there's always deer walking through the campground and um yeah, it's just a really nice, relaxing place. Yeah. Mom and Dad really enjoyed it this summer. It's a, it's a really nice, relaxing place to... You can still have a fire. Out. Well, so far there's no fire ban up yeah. there, so that always just depends on the weather, so there's no guarantee on that. But yeah, gorgeous place to hang out. Just, just a little ways out of Sundry, we stopped at Cremona on our way home. And uh, Cremona's just one of those little, tiny towns. Mm -hmm. Still there, still active, mm -hmm. lots of people come through. Yeah. And there's so many of these places all across the prairies, all up and down the uh, cowboy trail that are just, just real. Yeah. They're just quiet. Uh, they're just, they're just the way, nothing changes a lot yeah. in these small towns. Yeah. And it's nice to just stop in and just soak in some of that quietness of life. The nostalgia, the yeah. history, the, almost every town has an ice cream shop coffee shop a gift shop and a museum yes <laughs> so, and yeah. not on a sunday oh true yeah so be yeah. don't don't stop in on a sunday thinking everything's going to be wide open yeah. it might not be yeah, exactly well thank you for watching today's video if you liked it give us a thumbs up and we yeah. would really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button we we really are so thankful for all of the support the encouragement that we have from our community here and yeah thanks for watching and we're hoping that we're this Close from buying an RV. And once we buy the RV, it's gonna be RV Reno time! Big time. <laughs> Good times.